Hey there gamers, how you going? Welcome back to my Chase the Charizard with the Pokemon Shiny Treasure EX set from Japan. Uh, still trying to chase down that uh, secret art rare Charizard EX. And uh, tonight we've got a couple more boxes here to give us a crack at having a go at that. So let's see how we go. Put these over to the side for the moment. And we'll dive in. So obviously if you've seen last time the videos I've done, I've managed to get the Gardevoir Secret Art Rare. I haven't been able to get the Mew or the Charizard, the Charizard being the main one I'm after. But uh, that's fine, that's just how life goes sometimes. So we're going to have another crack tonight and see what we can find. There's some pretty cool cards in this set, so even if I don't get it and I get some of those cards still, I'll be just as happy. But uh, it's a long journey trying to complete this set. I'm also having a crack at that, but uh, there's no guarantees with this one. There's so many cards to collect, it makes it very hard. So this is our box, as you can see, just checking the camera. So you can all see that nice and clear. These are the packs. You get 10 packs in a box. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. They all are now, so I'll pop these over to the side as well, and we'll start ripping into these one at a time. So, uh, before we get started on this, just uh, if you've been watching any of our videos so far and you're enjoying the content, please hit the like button on each video you see, and uh, yeah, if you could subscribe, that'd really help the channel to improve and be able to bring you better content in the future. Um, subscribing doesn't cost you anything, you don't even have to check our videos in the future if you really don't want to, but it's a very big help if you do. All right, let's get started. Pack. We'll do some card trick on it, why not? Remove the last three, take them to the front. Okay, let's just make sure we can see all that nice and clear. Perfect. Alrighty, let's get into it. Now, as you've seen, I've opened this set a few times now, and uh, some of these artworks are really quite cool on these cards. And there's uh, quite a few hollows, you get four hits per pack, so you usually get a standard pack is about two of these hollows. Usually it's a reverse holo in this slot, but as you can see we picked up the baby shiny in this slot, so we've got a Pidgey, which is a very, very nice card. Adding that one to my collection, didn't have that one yet, and very happy with that one. Put that to the side, and then you get an EX, there's an EX in every pack, so you get a fair few hits in these packs, which is very handy. But uh, yeah, it's just a matter of working out what you need, finding what you can get, and finding people you can trade with to fill in the rest. So, just keep these over to the side, but I'll make sure that they're in a comfy out the way spot. Looking pretty cool there, yep. No worries, all right, and then let's get into pack number two. Oh, I'll quickly put a sleeve on this baby shiny. Don't want to make any, any damage come to that little Pidgey. Shall have another quick look at that. So yeah, that's really quite nice. Well centered, really, really nice card. Very happy with that one. Oh well, we started off really well on the first pack. Let's keep it moving and see if we can have a really good night of these pulls. So, with two boxes, I'm hoping that my chances are quite high here, but you just never know with this set. Anything can happen. There's uh, no guarantees on what you can pull in the box as far as these secret art rares or even just the regular art rares. So, it makes it quite hard to try and find them. But let's keep going through. Ooh, the chunk. Okay, so we get through all of these commons and uncommons, and then we again hit the hollow, we hit another hollow, and now these are just the reverse hollows, they're quite hard to sort of see, don't know if any of these angles will help you, but uh, yeah, it's a quite a glossy card, but they're quite a cool card still regardless, so I really enjoy them, I think they're a pretty good reverse holo work. Sorry, I hear my dogs running around in the background, there's a possum on the roof they're trying to chase. <laughs> Alright, let's keep moving. That's only two packs so far. Now we're on to pack number three. And let's just keep ripping on through these. Necro. There's a pity, that's the regular one. What else have we got? Alright, hollow topstricity. Uh, keep moving. There's another baby shiny. Now that's actually another one that I needed because I've got the uh, pre evolved form of this one. So that means I now have the full set. I've even got the. Uh, the psychic type one as well, so I've got both of them, so that's really, really handy. I'll take that one for sure. And then I've got a wire EX to finish off that pack. So, like I said, EX in every pack means you get plenty of hits. You're always going to get something out of this set. It's just a really fun set to open, in my opinion. I just really enjoy it. I don't even mind getting double ups on things, and there's so many of these baby shinies to try and collect that it's you're not very often doubling up on those either. There's usually plenty of uh, plenty of them to find, so. That gives it plenty of a variety. Okay, 
let's keep moving along. All right, so we've got the uh, beach court. So, do duo, keep moving through. All these commons and uncommons, and we've got a hollow, we've got another hollow, and another regular reverse, and another regular EX. So that right there is your minimum pack, really. So you can't really get any less than that. That's your two hollows, reverse, and an EX. And even that, like you're still getting a good pack, but you're getting hollows, you're getting reverses. It's an easy set to try and chase down the rares and the, uh, the most of your commons and uncommons come pretty easily too. I did seem to struggle with a couple of them that I couldn't find, but uh, I have since filled the binder out with uh, a few of those from friends and family and whatnot. So I've completed the full common and uncommon set and shot hollows and whatnot. Just trying to add reverse hollows to that set as well now, and then just got to complete all these uh, baby shinies, which unfortunately, sorry, I, just, I cannot just leave a baby shiny sitting there unsleeved. I just cannot do it. Yeah, so there's that one there. Now, I think we worked out the other day in our uh, previous video where I was with Malcolm and Tyler that uh, if you pull, because there's three baby shinies in one of these boxes, I think if you only pull two, the third one will end up being an art rare if it's not a not a baby shiny. I'm pretty sure the art rare comes in the same slot as the baby shiny. So let's just get through this one now and we'll see what's in here. Hit out hollow, it's a nice Lux Ray, really nice artwork, same eye. Reverse hollow do duo, and then we've got a Foratress EX. Very nice. Back. If you checked out our previous video with myself, Malcolm and Tyler, I opened up a box of Japanese 151 and uh, they opened up more boxes of this set as well so you can see what they pulled in there. But uh, also in that video, at the end of the video, we discussed uh, what we're going to open next for people to be able to see. So we might take a sidestep from Pokemon and uh, maybe look at something else instead. So we were talking about potentially opening some One Piece cards or some Dragon Ball Super cards. So, oh, hello, there we go. So that's my uh, shiny, uh, the, yeah, shiny secret rare from the pack. So you get one of those in each box. Uh, that's this one I got here. I'm pretty sure I've already got that one, unfortunately. So that doesn't fill out another spot in my, in my set, but that's okay. I can live with that. And then there's a reverse. Um, but yeah, so we just thought if anybody was interested in putting their feedback on there leave a comment and you can uh, tell us what you'd like to see opened if there's a set that you are unsure about what's in there or what, you're, what you might find um, and you'd like us to open it and have a look and you can see if it's worth your worth your time and money to try and buy into it then uh, yeah let us know what set that would be and we'll we'll try and get some and open it up for you I think at this point we're probably leaning more towards uh, doing a one piece 05 so OP 05 set as our um, our next opening but we're always open to the feedback and happy to do whatever people would like to see so if that's not something that people want to see then we're happy to yeah do whatever else we want to see so the newest english set paldean fates that comes out uh this month i believe um, that's basically the English version of the shiny treasure set. Um, I'm not 100% sure if all the cards are the same, but uh, yeah, basically these big hitter cards I believe are going to end up being in that set. So if you're really interested in getting those cards, but you're just not that interested in getting them in Japanese, you'll be able to look at Pelde and Fates, and uh, you'll be able to get it in that set. All right, now keep going through. Pikachu. I'd love to get a. Uh, shiny Pikachu that would be awesome but uh, no luck as of yet chasing that one down in between all of us no one has the cards a little bit funky but uh, Alakazam EX but yeah, now in all of the boxes we've all opened we have not seemed to find one baby shiny Pikachu yet which we would all absolutely love to find so fingers crossed We've got a whole other box after this one, so even if we don't get a big hitter out of this one, that's fine. We might get one out of the next box. But realistically, we just got to try and find that Charizard. <laughs> it's the only reason I wanted to get onto this set in the first place. I was hoping to just get that Charizard day one, but it just didn't happen. I got the Gardevoir instead, but I mean the Charizard was was the goal. 
There's the right shoe. Right. Yep. Oh, hello. Look at that. Now that is a really nice card. So these art rares are very, very hard to find in this set because as I said, they fill up one of the baby shiny slots. And uh, yeah, I, that's my first one I've pulled. I've, this is my, I think like ninth or 10th box of this that I've opened myself. And I've, this is the first one I'm pulling of this, uh, of one of these art rares. Um, I haven't actually seen anyone else get this one yet, which is good of my friends and whatnot that opened it. But yeah, very happy with that. That is a nice card, very clean. Centering's a little bit off left to right, but other than that, that's a pretty good card. I'm very happy with that one. And what have we got behind it? We've got, oh, I can see something else back here as well. We've got our regular EX. And then we've got a secret rare. Oh, a secret art rare, even better. Oh, wow. Look at that, that right there is an absolute banger of a pack. Have a look at those. Wow, that's awesome. You can see that, it's nice and clear there. Awesome, so Secret Art Rare is the same rarity of the Charizard I'm looking for, so unfortunately it's not the Charizard, but hey, we got a Secret Art Rare, I'm not complaining at all. It's another one off the list that's gonna be a hard chase to find otherwise, so I'll take that any day of the week. It means our last pack to uh, close out this box is probably not gonna be amazing, but that's okay, you'll still have the standard couple hollows reverse and a uh, EX in there so we'll still get some stuff out of it but yeah those are very nice that's some pretty good pulls from that first of all very happy with that this is what we've gotten out of it so far so the art rare secret art rare this shiny secret rare and then two baby shinies that are new and I didn't have them so that adds to the set very happy there good work guys last pack All right, let's finish this one off strong. You never know, because in these packs, you can still get something at any point. Like we just got an art rare, which I just explained how rare they are, and then a secret art rare in the same packet. So you can literally get anything. There's no definite out getting nothing anymore. So let's just finish this off, this box. pretty cool so right that's our uh, that's that first booster box done so just another quick look at what we've got out of that one so very very nice there getting that art rare and the secret art rare very very good cards to get and then our shiny secret rare and then these two little baby shinies here that Pidgey's really really cool I'm happy with that that's a very very good pull that Pidgey all right so that's that last box there and then we've got one more here and then once we finish this box, hopefully we have a Charizard in our hands. <laughs> I think uh, going by my luck, getting a second sh uh, secret art rare in the same night is probably not that likely, but you never know. You can always hope. Like I said, that's the beauty of this set, is uh, there's never any guarantees of you being down and out. You can always just rally even with one pack left. Alrighty. Open this up. There's our packs again, all 10 of them. Cool, all right. We'll rip through these ones and fingers crossed we find ourselves a Charizard in here. I pulled, uh, if anybody's watched the first video that we put up and enjoyed it, I know it's a long hour long one, but uh, in that one I pulled two of the shiny secret rare Charizards, but just yeah, could not get that secret art rare Charizard, I just couldn't find it. All right, let's start getting through these packs and see what's in here. Regular holo, regular holo, reverse holo Riolu, and then just a regular old EX. I don't mind knocking over those more basic packs to start with, because it just means that the rest of the box is going to have more in it. Much more chance of hitting something big. So, let's continue on, second pack. Every time I get it, that intake just hits me differently. Like, it's just a basic holo, but I just like it. It's a good card. Oh, and there's another baby shiny. So it's another one I don't have. So we can add that to the collection. Very handy. It's always good pulling one you don't have, just to add another one to it. And then here we go. Final one's EX. Okay, put that in our pile 
of hits. So these have actually come significantly down in price as well, so if uh, people were wanting to collect some Japanese stuff but they thought it looked like it was going to be too expensive, these ones are pretty reasonably priced now, no matter where you sort of look for them. Um, retailers don't have them ridiculously high either, they're actually at a pretty good set price, so yeah, you can always get your hands on some of these. Obviously I've got them on my own website, you can buy them directly through me, myself as well, I have my own store, and uh, my bow, and there's our saw any secret rear of this box unfortunately it's another one i already have which is very painful i wish i could have added another one to the list but that's okay they're all still good trade bait to be able to swap other people for the same level of rarity cards that they themselves also have doubles of so gives me half a chance still yeah, it's not bad there either with that centering it's actually quite nice condition. I don't mind getting some uh, doubles of certain cards as well and then potentially just sending them away for grading because once they're in double form I don't need them in the set and uh, yeah, you can send them off so if we can get something sneaky for them. Okay. Destroyed that pack a bit. Let's just see how we go now. Alrighty and ripping through again. Slow bro. And still moving reverse hollow the chunk. And then another regular easy EX. Yes. Most of the uh, EXs in this set are just reprints of the EXs from throughout the Scarlet and Violet sets in Japanese and English. But uh, doesn't mean they're any less good. The EXs in these sets have been pretty good. And, uh, they picked most of the best ones to put in this set, which is always good. And again, off we go. Thunderous. We got a Pachirisu. So we got another regular old EX Fortress. Alright. We've got one, two, three, four, five packs to go. We've still got at least two baby shinies or that slot available in here. So you never know, could pull another art rare and then potentially another secret art rare like the Charizard in the same pack. You can always dream. Alright. It's always hard to know if you see a glimpse of the sides of the cards as well. You can't guarantee you're still getting something good because all the hollows have holographic sides as well on all the edges. So it doesn't guarantee you anything. Another regular EX. Well, we don't have it tonight, so that's good. Four packs left, and we've still got two. Yeah, these packs should, at minimum two, should be good. Let's go through again. Hollows, Mimikyu Hollow is a nice card. And hello, I believe I've already got this bad boy as well, unfortunately, as far as baby shinies go. Ah, here I am at the start of the video saying there's so many of them it's hard to pull doubles, and I've gone and pulled most of them as doubles. Ah, oh, that's a shame. But oh well, as I said, I can always use them for trading or for grading. The X at the end. Alright, three packs left. Let's finish this off strong with the Charizard. Come on. Come on. I know we're going to get it at some point because I know that everybody's going to get sick of watching videos of me chasing a Charizard if I don't. <laughs> so I'd have to pull the pin. So we've got to get it. Come on, Charizard. Be in here for us. And there's our final baby shiny, meaning Charizard is probably not likely now. But as I said, you never know. As long as there's a pack to go, you never know. That's one I don't have, so thank you for that. I can add that to the collection. <laughs> and there's the EX. Up in the camera there. My apologies. Still fairly new to this. I'm just trying to work out all the kinks and making sure I'm not knocking cameras and making sure I'm getting the lighting right, all that sort of stuff. Making sure that the, uh, the sound quality is reasonable, all that sort of stuff. 
it's all part of the part of the gig, just learning it all still. Alright, last two packs. Let's just fly through these and pray. Okay. Regular old hollow, regular hollow, reverse hollow, and EX Wiggly Tough. Last chance here. We started off strong in the first pack, and we finish off strong in this pack. Here we go. Alright, come on, come on, come on. Give me that sweet, sweet Charizard. You know you want to. Oh, we're not going to get it tonight, unfortunately, so... That's just how it rolls sometimes, you don't always win. And we've had some pretty good hits here tonight though, so I'll just quickly run through those on the camera so we can see really what we've hit. So these are all our more major hits with the baby shinies and the shiny secret rares, and then our art rare. Now that art rare and shiny art rare, they were excellent hits. Sorry, secret art rare. They were awesome to hit. That is a massive pack to have two of those in one. That was crazy, so very, very happy. Overall tonight, that's a big win. And then also, like, these two baby shinies add to the collection. And that, that Pidgey, that is a cool card. Very happy with that one. Going to add, enjoy that, enjoy adding that one to the set. But uh, as I said, with this set, I've opened two booster boxes tonight. And you've just seen all those big hits that I've got. And then there's also this pile of EXs. So that every one of those is still an EX. So there's a lot of those you can get in this set as well. And uh, I've got all of them now, but uh, yeah, as I said, doubles are always handy for trade bait and for grading if you really want to see a certain card that's a Pokemon you really like and you want it graded to keep it forever, it's always handy as well. Um, but anyway, as I said at the start, uh, if you're enjoying this content or if you would like to see more content or you have any suggestions of anything you'd like to see, please feel free to leave a comment, please hit the like button on the page, and uh, yeah, if you could subscribe, that'd be really helpful. The more people I can reach with this, the more people might be able to enjoy something that they don't see very often, who knows. We'll start opening some other stuff uh, from other sets, not, not Pokemon, soon. And uh, as I said, if you've got any suggestions of anything you'd like to see opened, any card games, anything at all, then just hit us up and let us know. Alright, thanks for that guys. Have a good night. See ya.